Microvision is up nearly 166% just in this last month. Now make no mistake about it, this is an insanely huge move for any stock, but it is especially significant when you see a move like this come from a stock like Microvision. Now, when I initially saw the move to $4, I gotta admit, I was pretty shocked. But in my defense, however, this is a company that doesn't really move like that. In fact, it's been trading under $2 since October of 2019 and just hit $2 again in November of 2020. Now, those of you that are bad at math, that's about 13 months of it sitting around the same range. Just how and why did this penny stock break through three entire whole dollar levels and ultimately end up where we see it today, which by the way is the $5 range, when there doesn't seem to be any news whatsoever on Google or on the company website. It's pretty hard to find any news at all. So what in the world is causing this massive rally? And more importantly, is this move sustainable? And where will the stock go next? In this video, I'm gonna be telling you exactly where this stock is gonna go next because I'm gonna be telling you exactly what the catalyst behind this rally is. Don't go anywhere because we're gonna be starting right now. Hey, what's going on? It's Pat from Top Ticker Trades. If you're new here and you wanna learn how to use stocks and options to make your portfolio go parabolic, make sure you start now by subscribing and tapping that bell so you never miss an upload. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Now, it's been a very long time since we've discussed microvision here on this channel, but you know, every once in a while, something significant happens that requires our attention and that's where we are right now. So let's start with this 166% move. So is that too much movement? Should you be concerned? Is the valuation of the share price justifiable? These are all valid questions. Questions that from an investor standpoint, we should be asking ourselves frequently. Now, I wanna get right into it, ladies and gentlemen, but before I do, I would like to ask you to please consider giving this video an early thumbs up as it greatly greatly and i can't stress that enough helps to support this channel i put a lot of time and effort into each video so that we could all make money from the market together and if you're not part of the family yet i want you to join my family we're growing fast both as a community and financially by the day all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and don't forget to tap that bell so you have access to videos as soon as they come out so to get back to the topic at hand which is the mbis rally let me start off by saying that the pandemic had some devastating effects on a lot of companies this year. Unfortunately, MVIS or Microvision was no exception. And with that being said, just earlier this year, MVIS investors found out that the company was in trouble, financial trouble to be exact. Now, as a result of this financial trouble, the company announced that it would be moving forward with a strategic alternatives exploration just earlier this year. And for anyone that is not familiar with what that actually means or how it works, essentially the company has to resolve the issues with its balance sheet and bring some money in. So how does a company that is struggling financially bring money to the table? And keep in mind it has to be enough money to save itself during the hard times that caused the company to be struggling financially in the first place. So. Here are a few options. The first option, and likely the option management is working most toward, is the potential acquisition of MVIS by a large company. The acquisition makes sense. As a leader in LiDAR and other tech, there are several companies, especially in the autonomous vehicle space, that would benefit greatly from acquiring the company. And of course, an acquisition would be great for investors as it will likely take place at an incredible premium returning immediate value to investors. A second option would be an asset sale. If for any reason Microvision is unable to sell itself as a whole, the next step in the exploration would be to attempt to sell high value assets. So in this case, MVIS would not be acquired, but it may sell rights to its LiDAR technology 
and other technology to the highest bidder. Another option for MVIS would be to do a fundraise. So assuming that MVIS isn't able to raise the capital needed by using the first two options, then looking to capital markets for fundraising opportunities would be the next sensible choice. And if this doesn't work out, then the last option for them is to do something that shareholders and investors won't be very happy with, which would be to file for bankruptcy. But a lot of MVIS investors are saying that bankruptcy is not a concern for them at this stage. And that's because the company's technologies are used in various applications, including military applications, which they say have a revenue potential that is incredible. And it is because of this that these investors strongly believe that either the company will be acquired or that a large player will buy at least one of the company's high value assets, which would ultimately pull MVIS out of the gutter. Now, around two weeks ago, rumors began circulating and the word across various social media platforms and message boards suggested that Ford Motor Company would be buying MVIS. Then on December 1st, 2020, MVIS stock started trending in an upward direction on news of the announcement that Judy Curran was being appointed to its board of directors. So who is Judy Curran? And why does her appointment matter? So Judy Curran is a well-known senior automotive executive, and she has served in executive positions at a certain company, and that company would be Ford Motors Company. So she served there for quite some time, and while her role at Ford came with various responsibilities, a few very important responsibilities include the development of assisted driving infotainment, connectivity, and new electrical architectures. So essentially, when Ford wanted to develop better self-driving technologies or better consumer-facing technologies in a vehicle, Curran played a major role. So another rumor that's circulating on these same message boards is that Curran still works for Ford. Unfortunately, this does not appear to be the case or true at all as she left her position two years ago which still didn't stop NVIS investors from pointing out that Curran probably still has friends at Ford Motor Company who are executives, and because she is a member of the MVIS board, it is likely that she will be pushing Ford to buy MVIS. So the idea that Microvision may soon be acquired or announce a major asset sale that returns tremendous value to investors is extremely exciting. So it's not a surprise at all to see so many people jumping back into the stock recently. But nonetheless, there's no such thing as an investment without risk. So when it comes to MVIS, the most significant risks that you should consider before buying the stocks include that a deal is very important here. Okay, ultimately, it's incredibly important for the success of an investment in microvision that a deal takes place, whether it be an asset sale or an acquisition. But unfortunately, we're in the dark. We can only speculate about a potential deal, but if one doesn't take place, significant declines would definitely be the result here. So I want to make sure you guys understand that. If a deal does not take place, you're going to take significant losses. Now, there's also capital risk. The fact that Microvision is in the process of a strategic alternatives exploration should tell investors that there are capital risks to consider. If a deal is not met, the company may tap into capital markets to raise funds. And if this is the case, the result will be dilution for existing shareholders. Now, as penny stockholders, if some of you guys are investing in a penny stock, this penny stock, then you're no stranger to share dilution and you should already be familiar with that. Now, what about bankruptcy risk though? So bankruptcy is rarely a good thing for a publicly traded company or its investors, and we know this. But nonetheless, if MVIS is unable to establish a deal or raise the necessary funds through the sale of stock, 
it will likely find itself in the United States bankruptcy court, which again would lead to significant losses. While I have you here, I wanted to quickly tell you about the brand new First Trade app, available for mobile or PC. The platform will give you access to powerful and easy to use tools and allows you to trade with less restrictions, zero commissions, zero fees, and you can use the first link in the description below to download a free stock today without having to deposit any money. This will greatly help out the channel and is always appreciated. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. And now we're back and I'm gonna give you my conclusion. So if something like this were to happen, if Ford were to acquire Microvision, then I see the stock maybe shooting up to around $10 or more, but it really just depends on what the terms are. So that's just a guess. And there's no way for me to determine how much the share price would actually go to unless I knew what the terms of the agreement actually were. But what I will say is this, I do not see this happening. I think that this is more a bunch of speculation and hype that is being spread across message boards. And we've certainly seen this before in the past. And no matter how good that you guys think that this case sounds for Microvision being acquired, I do not see it happening. This has happened in the past before with Microsoft. And that rumor lasted for months, if not longer. And I remember being the only one making videos about it, basically telling everyone that it's not going to happen and warning unsuspecting investors that all decided to hate on my channel and didn't want to listen. But now I think that they know the truth. So that's one of my points. But I will say this, maybe they can sell some of their technology or whatnot and save themselves that way, I do see that happening. Congrats, ladies and gentlemen, you've made it to the end of the video. If you like what you watched, make sure you subscribe because I put out videos just like this one every single day. And please do me a favor and smash that like button if I helped you in any way because it really goes a long way in helping the channel out and keeps me motivated to make videos every single day. Now there's a lot of work involved, a lot of research, and a lot of time and effort into editing and putting these out daily for you guys. You can subscribe from your screen right now or if you want to watch one of my other videos, I'm sure YouTube has some good content picked out for you on the left hand side of your screen now. Thanks for sticking it out with me till the end and I will see you guys in the next video.